Hello, my name is Tridar. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a Minoan house in Minecraft. Let's get started. So first, let's take a little tour of our Minoan themed house. As you can see here, it is of course based off of the reconstructions done at Knossos. I have uh, taken a bits, and bits and pieces of the motifs from those and rendered it into blocks as best I can and made this little house design here. I've tried to do it in the, in the general style of that building, but of course that one is extremely large. So I wanted to make something a bit more bite-sized, you know, so something more survival friendly that you might be able to realistically build in your Minecraft world if you don't want, you know, just a little taste of the Bronze Age in your world, of course. Of course, the Minoan city of Knossos, located on the island of Crete in the Mediterranean many thousands of years ago i think what was that uh 20 2500 bc some some somewhere along in there it's definitely um uh in the greek uh, archaic period well before the classical era anyway uh, but what you see is what you get with the building here of course we have just a really nice house done in a color palette of uh, black white and red with a little bit of wood here and there as they would have had. Uh, let's take a look at the interior though. I think we've taken enough of the exterior in. So underneath here we have a little porch. We no you'll notice we have quite a few porches around the building here. We have a courtyard. Back here, of course, the main palace at Knossos was arranged around a very large courtyard. And even on the upper level here, we do have uh, an upper story also, just as the buildings there did. Uh, but if we drop down here and go inside, we can see that we have just a couple more columns, but otherwise we have a nice spacious interior. With a nice ceiling and a very simple floor design here. This is before the age of glass windows, so we just have the spruce fences in those. And of course we have just uh, four doors for easy access to the building for the back porch here. The side entrance here, and over here this goes out to the colonnaded courtyard area. Be a nice little porch area if you want to have like a little garden or something. You could relax out there. Uh, now over here, of course, we have a staircase. So if we ascend that, we can of course go to the second level up here. A nice spacious upper story, say if you want to have some storage here. We get a little back porch uh, area here at back there and this one here on the front you also notice we do have a little atrium slash light well right here above the staircase as uh, a lot of the stairs in Knossos they would have they'd be built in these little light wells and everything with that there is another staircase though that we do need to take a look at because like with most houses in Mediterranean region they have flat roofs so we can go up to the top and you could have some more space up here to do you know just, just whatever you wanted it would also make a convenient elytra landing pad as well of course you could land up here and then go down into your house however you wanted to do it and as with all these houses, I will leave the exact decoration up to you. Because, well, you know, Minecraft, there's not a whole lot we can do in terms of decorations. Uh, beds and stairs and chests and things, and that's, uh, that's about it. So with the tour done, let's start the tutorial itself. You've seen the materials list in the opening dimensions. Of course, the first two dimensions are going to correspond to the rectangle. We have here for the foundation, of course, the building tutorial is done in the usual style. We will be going up one block at a time, 3D printing the building from the ground up as we go. 
And of course, the world is available, this world here, in the video description for both Java and Bedrock versions if you just want to take a download of the building and you don't particularly need the, the rest of the video. But if you do want to stick around, you might learn a few things as we go. Uh, so let's start, I think, right here with uh, the red terracotta. N not, it's not a block I particularly used in previous tutorials. We have a, we have a number of interesting uh, materials in this, by the way. We have the, we have the, the red terracotta, the calcite, and the deep slate tiles. I think they go rather well together. We don't have very many different materials in this, but it all depends on not the materials themselves, but how you fit them together. I think it's come out rather good. I didn't want to use red concrete for this. I wanted to use something with just a little bit of texture to it. It was also a slightly more muted red than just the straight red of the red concrete. Uh, but of course, if you want to make it a different color, you can. This design here is just done in the typical colors, I think, that you would find in a Minoan building uh, of that period. It's, it's not like the Roman stuff. Uh, this one is particularly garishly painted because a lot of buildings in the ancient world were actually uh, garishly painted like this. Uh, it was generally because, um, as far as uh, colored things, they didn't have a whole lot. Back then, it's not like today where everything's in technicolor. Back then, um, uh, get, getting color on things was rather difficult. Uh, so, uh, let's start uh, right here and count out the first little garden wall here with the red terracotta. Or what? One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. 29, 30 blocks to get to there, and then we want to turn and go for four more, and then behind that I will leave it up to you to place in the uh, the, uh, the oak leaves for this, or just whatever type of leaf block you prefer to use for this, depending on wherever you're building it. Remember the biome color is going to affect the grass and the, the leaf blocks. Um, and then uh, counting back from here, let's count for right here for one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, and then four more behind that. And then skip here for four, and then go for one, two, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And then we want to go uh, straight across right here, because if we uh, draw a little line and we link these together right there, this is just going to be straight across from what we've already built. So if I get a little altitude on this, you can see we've got some symmetry going with the foundation, at least with the garden walls, just like so. So let's count the other end of it here. So we want to go for four right there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, and twelve. And then I believe this one here, it also lines up with this one that we counted out over here. So we just want to go to the other side here, place uh, two blocks on either side there, and that's going to be uh, that one. All right, so let me just get a little altitude, show you the entire foundation from the top down. So for everything we counted, you want to make sure that you count it probably a good three times because this is a very foundational phase, so we don't want to get things messed up. Otherwise, we'll have problems. Uh, now for the cobblestone foundation level. Let's uh, start here. If we want to go in from the corner and do a four-block diagonal, and then count for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three 23 blocks. And turn and go for one, two, three, four, five, for five blocks. 
Then turn again, four, one, two, three, six, nine, 12, 13 blocks. And then turn four, one, two, three, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 blocks. And then turn and go four, one, two, three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 22, 23 blocks. Turn and go four, one, two, three, four, five blocks. Then turn four, one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, 10, 11, 12 blocks. And then from here, we want to turn and go for one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten blocks to get to that point right there where we started. You may have already gotten that one, so there will be nine blocks. And that is going to be our foundation complete. Uh, now, after you've gotten all the blocks laid down, you can go ahead and, um, and fill in the cobble if you want to. It's going to be below the floor level right on the next one. So you could leave that hollow if you want to. And go ahead and place in uh, the shrubberies that you see behind those. Let me just get a, a quicker, a, a closer view in on those. It's just one block of oak blocks with uh, two air blocks between them on the two ends down here and then back down here. Now, I didn't include them, but if you want to build some trees, uh, where I'm putting uh, where I'm putting the red blocks here, I think would be those would be good positions if you want to add in some trees to the back, and if you want to add in some trees to the front as well, you could do so right there, and I think that would look quite nice if you added a, a few extra, just just small little trees there. Perhaps did the the pointy Roman cypress type of tree. All right, so with the uh, foundation all laid out, let's go on to the next phase uh, where you are just putting quartz slabs on top of the garden walls that we laid out with the red terracotta. Just like so. Behind that, you can see on top of the cobblestone we laid out, you want to go around and put uh, quartz stairs on top of those. Let's just take a look at the garden walls here and then we'll swing back here and take a closer look at the flooring. So we can see we have the flooring here for the, the, uh, the main front porch with the five pillars. And then you can use all the cobblestone that we counted out to help you place all the rest of this. Because you can see behind the stairs, all we're doing is we're putting in the uh, red terracotta. And then we're putting in uh, calcite behind that. And then over here, we're putting in uh, two blocks thick of red terracotta and the rest of it's uh, just white calcite, like you see here. Now, of course, on the thresholds where the doors are, those two blocks, you can see we're using the black glazed terracotta. I mean, black, no, not black glazed terracotta. That's, uh, th those are deep slate tiles, sorry. Black glazed terracotta looks nothing like that. So let me give you a good top-down view for those of you that prefer that. So you can see the entire thing in profile. And I'll lower down and get a bit tighter in on it, just like so. And I think that uh, this here isn't connected because, I mean, you can't connect it if you want to. Uh, because that's going to be under the stairs. So it's going to be hidden. So you can save yourself maybe a bit of calcite underneath the stairs if you leave that out. And uh, with that, we will go on to the next phase. 
So here we're putting our very characteristic uh, upside down conical Minoan columns right here. Well, you know, Minecraft, this is, this is as, as as conical as we can get with blocks. So uh, you can see uh, the intercolumnation distance for these is, is an interesting uh, four blocks wide for the most part. So you can see we've got one on the corner, then four blocks and a base, four blocks and a base and four blocks and a base and so on and so forth till you get over here. Uh, likewise back here, two blocks and then four blocks and a column base and four blocks and a column base. Turn the corner, same deal. Four blocks for all of those and for these over here. All right, for the building behind that, uh, you can see here the deep slate tiles is going right on top of that cobblestone that we put down in the previous uh, phase. Of course, all the thresholds, they line up if you take, um, if you just extend a little two block thick line from here, you can see that your thresholds will line up directly with the stairs that we placed down in the previous phase. Otherwise, we're making just a big box of uh, deep slate tiles here, like so. We do have a couple of columns in here, so if we extend in from our door for what? two, three, four, five blocks there, and then a torch on either side, and then our two column bases. Over here for the stairs, we have a couple of oak stairs, and then what, two, three, four blocks there, and then three more there. Uh, and then we have uh, three columns here on the back porch. and uh, two columns right here on the side entrance, which is one little block between them. All right, next phase. So on top of all the column bases, you wanna go around and put one block of uh, a red uh, terracotta. Just like you see done here. We'll take a look at the building in a moment. For all the many columns in this building, if we go back to the front here, you can see that you can go ahead and install your doors right over the thresholds. Uh, and beside that, you can see we've got just a simple uh, a wall design here of I've, uh, a bit of, um, what, deep slate tiles around the doorway for the door frame, and then we've got the calcite going up the walls as well as the red terracotta for four blocks as well. So it's four blocks and then some calcite and then four blocks and some calcite. Turn the corner, same deal. We've got a couple of blocks here for the stairwell landing. We'll take a look at uh, the outside of the building first. And then we'll take a look at the detailing on the inside. But you can see all this is just sitting right on top of the black uh, deep slate tiles that we just uh, laid down. So the numbering, we don't have to count anything for that. We've already done it. Uh, and here is the, the simple detailing for the stairwell. Of course, it's being a Bronze Age building, and we couldn't, you know, use fancy... Uh, arches and everything in this because they didn't know how to do, do those yet. They didn't have that technology, so we have to have a very simple sort of layout and interior for these buildings. Well, we have a lot of squares and columns. Very well suited to Minecraft building, I have to say. Uh, next phase, next block level up here over the doorway, we've got uh, two oak tree trunks on their sides. Maybe they're spruce. I forget. What, whatever type of wood you want to use for that. And of course here we've got for the windows the um, the, the spruce uh, fences. Just like so. Let's take a look at the entire building. Here's the detailing for the stairwell. A couple of quartz slabs we're working in, by the way. We don't have calcite half slabs, sadly. So we have to work in the, uh, the, the, the quartz instead. And of course, for all the columns, you want to go around and put another block of red 
terracotta on top of those. And otherwise, all the window designs you see here are just exactly the same. It's just a simple cutout with the spruce fences in them to give us a lattice work for our window. Because I remember this building is very old, so they didn't have glass windows back then. They would have to use a wooden lattice in place of glass. And presumably uh, shutters on those as well. Uh, so here, go around on all your columns, add another block on top of all of those. And here is the detailing for the building. Again, you can see here a couple of fences over the door. And in the windows here. These windows, because they're at the, the level of the stairwell, they were a little a bit higher up than the others. Detailing for the stairs. And that's all there is for that phase. Let's go on to the next one, another block. Red terracotta on all the pillars. And we want to have a lintel of deep slate tiles to cap off the doorway. Otherwise, everything else on the building is just being extended straight up from the previous phase. Except for the doorways and, of course, uh, slightly different details here for the stairs. But the stairs are also a repeating pattern. Just like so. And we'll just swing around for the sake of completeness and take a look at it. And move on to the next phase. So on up the columns again, one last block of red. Um, Terracotta for a total, I think that's five. One, two, three, four, five on all those columns. And behind that, uh, the entire phase mostly consists of uh, a lot of red and uh, a bit of calcite here and there to divide off the panels. Uh, also, over some of the windows, we do have down here some uh, stairs, some oak stairs. Provide a little shade to the windows. Let's take a look at the uh, detail for the stairwell. Two little uh, window shades right there. And two more on the side here. Of course, at the front where the windows are being covered up by the colonnade, we of course don't need those. Only on the exposed elements. Uh, so here we are putting on the characteristic Minoan capitals. Well, you know, Minecraft. This is as best I can do as um, for a Minoan capital, and for that we just have the upside down uh, deep slate tile stairs. Going around like so. Uh, and on top of those, you can place uh, you can place whatever block you have in here. It doesn't have to be more uh, red terracotta. Uh, but on those, you just want to go around on top of all these columns and place, what is that, eight blocks of upside down deep slate uh, uh, tile stairs. Just like so on every single one of the columns that we've been building. All the way around the building. There's quite a few columns. And behind that for the building, what you want to do is place a big rectangle of uh, deep slate tiles on top of those. The detail here for the stairs. And uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, these over here are kind of connected to the building. Of course, you want to make sure you get the three inside the building as well. All right, uh, next phase here, we are putting on the uh, entablature for the columns. Uh, Minoan entablature is very, very, very simple designs on those. Not, not very complicated. Um, 
So we, of course, are just doing that with uh, lentils made up of pure calcite. Right here, these are going to be the interiors of these should be four by four on those here at the front. So you want to do four of, the, uh, four of those, all four by fours. And then for the courtyard colonnade here, you just want to do a big rectangle to connect that together on top of those. And uh, two four by fours here at the back. And then this one one by four here at the side. All right, and we want to have just a little bit more calcite on the interior here because this is where our, our light well is. Uh, otherwise, on the interior, we then want to convert over to having uh, oak tree trunks on their sides. Like so. All these have the same spacing though. They should all have uh, four by four blocks in the interior. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Just like so. All right, for the next phase, you want to extend all that calcite up for another block level. Just like we see done here. Let's take a closer look. Here at the front, I suppose um, that's probably, th this could easily be cobblestone right there. And then in between those, we want to have these little rings of uh, red uh, terracotta there with the 2x2 two two cutouts in those. Right there, four at the front, two at the back, and then fill in this uh, little side one with four blocks of red terracotta. And none of those on the courtyard over here. Uh, for the interior, of course, we have our light well that needs to remain open, so we don't have anything filling that. Uh, but here, you want to extend up your oak tree trunks laying on their sides for a second block level. And in between those, where we put the red terracotta on the exterior, in here, we want to put upside down oak stairs. done in this pattern here. And it only gets cut off a little bit over here with the design for the stairs, which of course are going upwards and they're kind of intersecting with it. Right there. Uh, now for the car of details on the entablature, these on the Minoan designs, they're actually, I think they're like uh, just circles beside each other. But, you know, Minecraft, we have a severe shortage of circles. So um, what I had to do with this instead was I elected to use uh, some stone buttons for this to give us just, just a, little, a little dash of uh, gray. We, we were kind of in need of a fourth color. I mean, we do have some green down here, but I thought just, uh, just a little hint of gray here and there would help help tie all the white and the black together. So I chose some buttons for this. Uh, so at this level here, on every place you can, you want to go around and place the buttons. Of course, these blocks here, we cannot place a button because of, you know, we've got one here. Uh, it's only going to be a mess in the corners, uh, on the inside corners, but otherwise on the outside, you just want to go around and place your stone buttons like this here. I bet it's been very seldom you've found an occasion to use stone buttons as decoration for something. Uh, but, you know, here we are. I bet you never thought you'd be putting stone buttons over calcite either, but, you know. All right, that's all the way around the perimeter of the building at that level, and we can go on to the next phase. So for the next one, we have a lot of cobblestone to put down first, right here. That mostly goes on top of all the calcite. And in front of those, we want to be putting on a cornice, top off our entablature, and that's going to be done with uh, the upside down deep slate tile stairs. It's like you see done here. So every place you put a button, uh, behind that, you want to put some cobblestone, and then in front of that, you want to wrap the entire building around with a cornice of deep slate tile stairs. Just 
focused all the way around the building. Like so. And here to finish off uh, underneath here, we want to fill that in with uh, four blocks of deep slate tiles. Four of those at the front and two of those at the back. Also on the inside of the courtyard, I didn't go over this. We also want to place the buttons again and the upside down stairs over top of those here. Just make a big rectangle out of it. Uh, here for our atrium slash light well, we want to have upside down stairs here, just like so, in a rectangle. And to fill in the tops here, we want to have uh, some calcite. Although I suppose on some of these, we don't need as much calcite as I have here. Like so. We, those are the only blocks of calcite we actually need. The rest of this you can just uh, leave empty or fill in with cobblestone. And here is the, the detailing for our stairs. All right, next level, we've got another floor to put in, our second story floor, but let's tackle the exterior first. Uh, so for this, uh, since we have another level, we want to put uh, some upside down quartz stairs over top of the upside down deep slate tile stairs. All the way around the building. Except when we get to this point here because our building stops here, and this is where we have the um, uh, detailing for uh, uh, the, um, well, this doesn't really have a name. It's just like, this is this the detailing that goes on top of the cornice right here. This normally be a roof, but it's not really a roof because there's nothing we're roofing over. It's just a little uh, alternating block decoration. You can see we've got the quartz half slabs and then the full blocks of red terracotta uh, just because of how the, um, this is our, where our door is, so we had to have two blocks here instead of just one to make the corners match up. Like so, and then behind that we want to come in with deep slate tile half slabs behind those right there. All right, so I'll give you top-down views of that. And let's take a closer look now at the flooring. So behind the courts, you can see we've got a lot of red terracotta to put down along with some more calcite right here. And then cobblestone for the rest of it. Here for the second story porch at the back and its associated doorway. And over here for our stairwell. Uh, so for the numbering of this, I don't think I particularly need to count it out because it's going on top of what we've already previously built, so it should be pretty pretty easy for you to get that down. Uh, and once you've done that, we'll move on to the next phase. Uh, so over here, we want to... Uh, let's start, uh, start here. So here we have another column base. So this column base that corresponds to that block down there is going to be the same as this here. And we're going to be building another level of columns. We have three that we're putting at the front. They're all spaced out four blocks, just like the ones below them. Just like so. And then behind that, you can see we've got some stairs right here for a very uh, a primitive sort of railing. 
I, I could have done a more fancy railing, but you might remember this is this is a Bronze Age house, so we don't need to get too fancy with it. And then just lay your stairs out in this pattern here. And then back here, over the top of the courts, uh, stairs we had for the atrium, or rather the, the, the light well. We had upside down court stairs in here over the deep slate tile stairs. And on top of that, we want to just lay down some half slabs. Uh, here too, I don't know. I appear to be missing a half slab for some reason. I'll add in an extra one on the materials list. So you'll, you'll have the right amount of half slabs uh, when, when you get to this point. Uh, let's see, and over here, the last detailing we have to do is add just one little more block on the corners here of red terracotta. And this entire uh, uh, colonnaded uh, area we have here, that's going to be finished. So now we're focusing only on the second story. Uh, so here, where we put in our, our threshold for our doorway, of course, we have double doors again. And then on top of the cobblestone, we have the deep slate tiles being put down again as well. Uh, over here, of course, we have the small detailing again of the alternating uh, half slabs and full blocks. Deep slate tiles, half slabs behind those. And then here at the back again, same deal. We don't have any uh, columns back here. This is just a, an, an open porch area. So we have the stairs and a couple of blocks all in the corners. Because, you know, Bronze Age uh, Mediterranean uh, type structures, you always have to have these little, these little uh, horn things on the, uh, on the corners of things. Something they particularly like to do, so not sure why exactly. But it is, it is a design motif, so. Uh, over here, you can also see we have the beginnings of the stairs to take us up to the, the roof. Right there. And then we of course have the finishing of our stairs that bring us up to this level. And then of course we have a safety railing just right there. Now I know Bronze Age building, they, they may or may not have had the safety railing, but you know. We, we, uh, safety first, we, we may as well add one in. I mean, this isn't a particularly long fall. Uh, next level up, of course, on top of our deep slate tile blocks, we're going to be putting another five blocks of what, one, two, three, four, five blocks right there of the red terracotta. You can go ahead and put six, actually, to, to account for the capital, if you want to, for those. Uh, now, on top of all our stairs, we want to go around and put the spruce trap doors on top of those to cap off the safety railing. Same deal for the open area here. And two blocks of red terracotta on either side. Uh, so here for the building, uh, same deal for the walls that we did down below. We're just extending them straight up according to this pattern here. It's going to be one block of calcite for every block of red terracotta. And we want to finish off the railing here and the next detailing for our stairs right here. All right, next phase, I will leave it up to you to extend all these columns and we'll go ahead and take a look at the next level of the, uh, the second story. Now you can see we've got our windows being worked back in to the structure, just like we had them below. Uh, this one over here, it only ended up being one block. Uh, it could have been wider, but uh, from the exterior, there was too much red right here. 
and I didn't it didn't look very good when they're squished together so I elected to have just two blocks of calcite in here and a smaller window so it looks correct from the exterior otherwise it's just a simple repeating pattern all the way around the exterior just like so same deal for the stairs too next level if this is mostly a repeat of the previous phase that we just did only slight detailing over the doorways are, are different otherwise you're extending everything up just like we previously did all right next phase after that same detailing again just uh slight differences over the door to cap them off with the deep slate tiles otherwise you can see here all the rooms are just being extended straight up. Uh, over the back here though we do have over the doorway we do have this little shade right there. All right and next level here we're going to have a lot of uh, calcite and a lot of red terracotta and of course uh, capping off our windows we just want to have the oak stairs there to provide just a little shade from perhaps whenever on the rare occasion that it might rain to keep uh, water from just, you know, seeping down into our lattice work. Because in general, the houses with the flat buildings were in mostly places where they didn't get a whole bunch of rain. So they could get away with that. All right. Uh, next level here. Uh, so for our, uh, our last remaining three columns, you want to go around and put on three more capitals. Just like so in the Minoan style. And then behind that, we want to put down just this big L shape of uh, deep slate tiles, just like you see done here, just right on top of the building. And keep extending your stairs up. I think you can... Uh, see where that's going with the repeating pattern. So on the next phase here, we want to have some calcite. Two squares of uh, four by four cutouts in the middle here for those. And then behind that on top of the deep slate tiles, you want to put down calcite on top of those. And then here, a couple extra blocks here for the stairwell. All right, next level up, uh, put on a second layer of calcite. And then right here, this is just like, uh, right here, this is just like what we did down there below for that first area. We're doing it again here. And you can see the, uh, the roof beams have reappeared, just like so. Remember, the, the cutouts for these are 4x4 four four on the interior. Otherwise, it's just a simple grid pattern. Uh, now in front of these, we want to go around and put on our last ser uh, a series of buttons, just like so, all the way around. Right here, the only place we can't place a button is uh, that block back there. All right, so on top of that, on top of the calcite, go around and put down cobblestone. And at the front of that, we want to put down uh, the upside down uh, cornice of deep slate tile stairs all the way around the building, all the way around on top of the place where we put down all the buttons. And uh, cap these off with cobblestone and deep slate tiles. And then here we want to do again the upside down oak uh, stairs, just like we see done here. Except, of course, where our stairwell is right here. All right, next level up, we're putting on our roof now. We're at the penultimate phase. Uh, so you can see here, we're just we're echoing that design we did down there for the colonnade. We're doing again here on the top of the roof. So on top of all your upside down stairs, you want to go around and alternate the uh, the full blocks of uh, red terracotta and quartz. And behind those, you want to place down uh, deep slate tile half slabs. And then behind that, you want to place down a, uh, what, more, more red terracotta. 
And, oh, I'm not sure why there are extra blocks here. Hmm. Is that a mistake? Yes. Okay, that's a very small mistake. It's, we don't want that here. We want to have a deep slate tile slabs right there where the carpet is. I'll try to fix that in the materials list, too. Uh, and then behind that, you just want to cap the entire thing off with calcite. Leaving out this little cutout here for your stairs to empty out onto the roof. And then for our final face here, we want to go around and put down, what's that going to be, five blocks here on all the corners. of the building so we can have a consistent design motif for the rest of the building like so and once you have placed down your final block of red terracotta your Minoan house will be complete so I hope you have enjoyed the Minoan house tutorial I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time